video, I'm going to be showing you multi-dimensional manifestation. This goes beyond the law of attraction, and this may be a game changer of something that changes your life forever. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you multi-dimensional manifestation, understanding a process that I believe to be even more powerful than the old school way we go about attracting what we want in our lives and how this can profoundly change our life when we get to the core of it. So you may have seen on my channel a lot, I've been bringing more of the esoteric type information into the channel recently. A lot of this information is things that I've been excited about for a long time, but kind of been just not putting out because I, I didn't know how people would necessarily perceive of it. Um, but it really, what it does is it infuses the law of attraction with personal development and spirituality and what we could say metaphysics. And when it intertwines all of these things, we'll see that some of the paradigms that we used to use may work. Like hard work can get you to a certain spot. Maybe you eventually tame that hard work and know how to take efficient action versus just hard working. But in general, there are many different paradigms that work. So you could do like the, the Gary Vaynerchuk mentality where it's like work really, really hard. You could do it where it's the Abraham Hicks where it's like raise your vibration. That works as well. Multidimensional manifestation is another offshoot of that. And in a way it's similar, but it's also different. So multidimensional manifestation has to do with the awareness of who we are as multidimensional beings. And when we have this awareness, we can then dial in on a certain reality we want to experience and we can experience it so much faster because we have the awareness that that other version of us already exists. So the normal way we go about manifestation is that we believe we are this physical ego structure. So the way normally people go about things is they want to attract something they don't currently have into their life and they want to become a better version of them, which also emphasizes time space reality. It, it emphasizes that this is where I was in my past. This is where I am now. This is where I want to get in the future. But you see what multidimensional manifestation has to do with is understanding that that's not just who we are. We're not just this, this 3d physical avatar ego. We are spiritual beings that exist at many different levels. And when we bring this information and this awareness into our ability to manifest, things happen even easier because we're able to directly dial in on different parts of ourselves because we aren't really just the ego. When we think we are, we will experience reality as if, as, as if the case, if, as if that's the case. We'll think that if we think that we need to work hard, then we'll think it's all the ego instead of knowing we can surrender some of that to our higher mind. And when we start to realize that we're multidimensional, things become even easier. I did this kind of subconsciously when I decided I wanted to dial in. I, in a way, it was like very, it was a very spiritual thing for me when I was walking around my house back in 2017 and, and knowing that I wasn't where I wanted to be. I was working a nine to five job I wasn't passionate about. And in February of 2017, then I had this epiphany and I almost felt like it was my future version of me that was communicating with me. In a way I was there and I was like, I had this download in a way and it said, if you make videos every day for a year, your life will change drastically. You won't even be able to, it'll be a completely different life. You will live, you'll be living your dream in a way you can't even imagine within one year. So I said, okay, I'm gonna make a video every single day for a year, no matter what. And in a way, I felt like that was the future version of me that was relaying that information to me. Let me ask you a question. What if the perfect version of you, you doing exactly what you want to be doing in the kind of relationships you want to be in traveling the world, whatever it is, what if that version of you already exists? And not only what if that version of you already exists, but what if in meditation you could connect to that version of you and you could download that vibrational signature. You could download the thoughts, emotions, and actions of that version of you. And what if you aligned your inner reality to the inner reality of that future version of you and that by doing so, you then began to experience that as your reality. What if that future version of you is trying to project itself back to you to help you along the process? 
You see, many times when people look at past life, future life connections, they think, here I am right now, I'm connecting to a part of my past. This is who I was in a past life. When in actuality, that past life exists right now, it's in a parallel, it's a parallel life, not a past life. And because it's parallel, you can connect to it. And that version of you that's connected to your same oversoul is also connecting to you to draw back information from. You see, it's a different way of relating to it. But then what this helps us to do is realizing that it doesn't have to be a completely separate incarnation. It could be a future version of you trying to reach itself back to you. Have you seen the movie Interstellar? Interstellar is a Christopher Nolan movie and Matthew McConaughey's in it at the end of it. Spoiler alert, but at the end of it, he's in the fifth dimension, what they call the fifth dimension. And he's traveling, looking at different parallel realities through this, this type of tunnel bookshelf type unit structure. And I think that's a metaphor, but I think in a similar way, he was the one that was sent. He was, there was, uh, there was something where he was sent a message where books fell off the shelf and all these things happened. And he thought it was them. It was someone else that was doing it. At the end of the movie, he finds out it was himself from the future connecting back with him. You know, a lot of these movies that do really well, they resonate with us at a deep level, not just because it's a cool idea, because at a metaphoric level, that could be something that happens for us. So a multi-dimensional manifestation, I'm going to share with you a formula, something that you can do that can change your life. And it has to do with understanding who you are at your core and understanding that you've just been living your whole entire life, believing that you are this 3d avatar physical structure. And because you spent your whole life believing that this is who you are, a lot of you creating and manifesting from a multi-dimensional perspective has to do with you letting go of this ego that's keeping you with the same problems and the same circumstances over and over and over and over again. The reason it's so hard to change is because you're trying to change something that's locked in your identity. You see, with multi-dimensional manifestation though, you detach from that identity. If somebody tells themselves a story that I've been a smoker for 10 years and it's so hard to smoke and I knew somebody else, I remember my mom was telling me one time she knew someone else that was, uh, that tried, that quit smoking cigarettes and then something like they had died or something like that. When they quit smoking cigarettes, it was like they quit smoking cigarettes and then went to a sauna and then I forget, it was some weird story. But subconsciously that story may have also been something that's it's like, oh, that must be very, very hard to quit smoking cigarettes. There's a fear behind it because of that story that someone else told her. You see? Now, here's the thing. The stories we have are running our life, especially from the egoic perspective. Now, what happens is our stories are intertwined with our identities. We say, this is who I am. This is the way reality works. And the key to us really getting into the reality we want is letting go of the story of the past. So for example, if someone tells himself a story, I've smoked for 10, 15 years, it's hard for them to change because they're trying to change an old identity. Part of their identity is they are a smoker. But see, multidimensional manifestation is you can let go of the identity by just realizing that was one probable past. Under your new identity of who you choose to be, you're a new version of you every moment. We are constantly shifting and you could say that your past is who you choose to be. Your past isn't the same past or the same story. You are different because you choose to be the version of you now that you choose to be, and therefore you have a different past. So you never did smoke. That was a different identity because every moment you are shifting to a new version of you, new version of you, new version of you right now, right now, right now, right now. What story are you telling yourself? What story are you telling yourself? What story are you telling yourself? Every moment is a fresh moment, but you see, we have this identity of this memory of who we think we are, but what we can learn to do is to observe that. And then what we can do is we can be and declare a new version of us right now with a new story or no story. You can become nothing. When you are not attached to anything, you become nothing. And when you become nothing, you can then be everything or anything. See, this is the key. We normally are trying to change from the level of the ego. 
And by trying to change from the level of the ego, we are saying that we're not whole and complete already. There's something wrong with us, there's something wrong with us, and therefore there's resistance created. The key is detaching from that identity, detaching from the belief that there is something wrong, and getting into being, getting to a state of emptiness. This is what the Buddha called emptiness. And emptiness is not some sorrow-filled place. Emptiness is when you feel, it's like when Bruce Lee says, be like water. When you're like water, you're flexible, you're malleable. And things become very much like they bend for you. So the key to this is not to become a better identity. Even if you imagine the future version of you that's like living this boss lifestyle, instead of just looking at that version and saying, I'm going to become this boss, that's still another ego. That's still filling yourself up. Multidimensional manifestation is the awareness that everything you see around you is different rates of vibration. It's only solid because of the belief we have of its solidity. Over 99.99% of it is empty space. And because of that, we can start to see reality more as a flexible type thing. When reality becomes flexible, guess what? Things can bend for you in a very powerful way. When you become more flexible, you're not so tied on to the ego. The ego's necessity to be right. The ego gets a payoff for being right too. It gets an emotional adrenaline high. It gets an adrenaline high that says, yes, I am right. You are wrong. You should not have treated me that way. I am angry about it. It gets an emotional high. But you see, the ego is what keeps you locked into the current reality that you're in. And if you want to experience a new reality, the key is to become nothing. Because by becoming no thing, no thing, no identity, by becoming empty, by becoming present to the moment, you can then become anything and everything. You see, I realized for a long time I was teaching and trying to help people to acquire a new identity, become a better self-image, a better version of you, which can be powerful. If you think that you're uh, a victim, or you're not very powerful, or people always have power over you, and you change your self-image to being powerful, and to knowing that you can choose things in your life, that's a powerful new self-image. But what I am trying to show you now is this multi-dimensional aspect of you. You are a divine being in spirit right now, dreaming that you are this ego body. But we forget this when we're born. And then we do everything we can to make this ego better, to make this ego structure a little bit more appealing to other people so that other people may accept us or so that we can feel more comfortable with ourselves and give ourselves more permission to be the way that we prefer to be. But you see, here's the key. It's more about being and understanding that you are a divine being connected to source energy. Now, let me share with you a very powerful formula that you can apply for multidimensional manifestation because multidimensional means that you exist at many different levels at the same time right now. And when you realize that you're more than this physical body, you then don't identify as much with the physical body. And a lot of you experiencing what you want will have to do with you shifting and letting go of your past identity and the things that you identified with and it felt attached to in the past. Now the formula that I want to share with you, think about this. When your focus is on form, Things are heavy. When you focus on matter, you create more matter. Matter is heaviness. Most people are trying to change their matter. They're trying to change their form. Therefore, it's very hard because you're trying to change something that's very heavy. Now, when you get into meditation, what you can begin to do is you can get to understanding that you can close your eyes and realize that you are energy. You are energy beyond your body. When you put the awareness beyond your body, you start to become energy. When you become energy from your focus, you become no thing. When you're not no thing attached to any identity, you can become anything and everything. So the key to multidimensional manifestation is taking the awareness away from the physical, away from the identity, away from the solidity, and into the energy which is, could be called the quantum field, could be called zero point energy, whatever you want to call it. And in meditation, know that you and your energy, this is true as well, your energy goes far beyond that of your body. It's not so much that your spirit 
is inside of your body. It's more so that your body is inside of your spirit. Think about that for a minute. It's just that your body is the the slowest vibrational form of your energy field. So if you want to change anything in your reality, first off, change your energy field. And the way you change your energy field is you stop identifying so much with the solidity, the form, and reacting to everything in life. And the more that you're playing out the identity you currently have is the more that reality will continue to play out like that. Here's what you do is you get into a meditative state. And what you can do is you can take a couple deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And we can do this right now. Take in a deep breath in, deep breath out with me. And we're going to go through this situ- this experience right now of starting to manifest from this higher point of view, this more expanded point of view. You'll tap into this feeling right now with an activation. So set the intention right now that you experience this activation and that everyone else listening to it experience this activation as well. Us setting an intention like that is extremely powerful because all of those intentions add up. They compound on top of each other. It's like the mastermind principle with Napoleon Hill. Well, imagine every single person who watches this video sets the intention that we tap into this highest vibrational energy and start to create from this new template, the zero point energy. Now let's take a deep breath in, deep breath out right now and feel our body relax. Let's take a deep breath in. (sighs) Breathe it out. Feel your body relax more and more. And then go ahead and close your eyes if you like, if you can, if it's safe. Now take in another deep breath in, then a deep breath out. (sighs) Breathe it out. Feel your body relax more and more. Now realize that with every breath you take, you will feel your body relax. You will feel yourself become more present to the moment, knowing that you are about to expand your energy beyond the awareness of where you were before and what and what you thought you were before. Now realize that up until this point in your life, you thought you were only this ego structure. You thought that you were the result of your past. You were what other people thought you were. You were only capable of what people thought you could do. Any of these beliefs, you start to see them for what they are. Simply beliefs. And become aware now and put your energy within your body. Put the awareness in your feet. Put the awareness in your hands. Put the awareness in your heart. And feel the energy in your body. The more you put your energy inside of your body, the more you feel this energy begin to raise. Put the energy in your heart now. And feel the energy increase inside of your heart center. Now you are more present to the moment than you were a few minutes ago. Now put your awareness beyond your body. Put your awareness on your energetic field. The space beyond your skin. Understand that you have an energetic field that goes far, far beyond what you can imagine. Imagine now that your energy begins to expand more and more. Now imagine that as your energy begins to expand, you feel that now your body is within you. You right now have your body inside of you, of inside your energetic field. 
and you start to feel this spaciousness. You start to feel how free you are. Feel how free you are. Now realize that everything you identify with in your life, everything you thought you were, isn't really who you are. You are so much more than that. You are an infinite spiritual being and you are who you choose to be right now. You realize now that every moment is a new moment and you can choose to be who you are right now. Right now. You are who you choose to be. Every moment is a fresh new moment right now. You can change the story you tell yourself right now. Because every moment you are a new version of you right now. Now imagine yourself expanding even further out to where now the whole entire world is within your energy. Imagine you sitting here right now. Everything is within you. You are beyond the 3D. You are beyond everything you identified with. And understand that right now in this empty space, this emptiness, this flexibility, you can be anything you want to be because you are attached to nothing. This vibration right here of expansion, of realization, is who you really are. Now set the intention right now to know that the next time something happens in life, you're going to be able to observe it in a new way, realizing that it's just one perspective, realizing that you and remembering that you are an eternal spiritual being knowing you can observe this old identity and that from this point going forward, you can remember that you are more than anything you can imagine. And because you can observe and not be so attached, you can now be anything. You'll find it easier to let go of what doesn't serve you from this point going forward. You'll find it easier to let go of old negative habits, old negative attachments, because you'll see them for what they are. Just something that you identified with at a certain point of your life and you kept it and thought that that's who you were, but now you can let it go. So I'm going to count down now from three to one. With every number I count, you feel yourself becoming more alert, more present to the moment knowing that your life has changed. You are who you choose to be right now in this present moment. Three, feel the awareness now come more into your body. Feel it inside of your hands. Two, feel it inside of your feet now. And one, open up your eyes now, knowing that you are more than this 3D avatar body, this ego. And that because you would know that now, you don't have to be so attached, so reactive to it. And because of that, now you are free to be anything and everything. Because the truth is, you are everything. So with that being said, I recommend you listen to this meditation at least four or five times to really wire in this idea, this concept. And then allow yourself to know that from this point going forward, your life has a new dimension to it. You're aware of it at least. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Peace, much love, and namaste.